So are you one of the people who didn't do the Iron Banner quest for the armor the first time around? Meaning you are grinding PvP as of now trying to get this done. Well good news people, you can still glitch this quest. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay people, so Iron Banner to put it politely is a bag of poop. 95% of the time I'd rather scratch my eyeballs out with a rusty spoon rather than participate in this event. But when there's an event of which has its own quest line which rewards you armor, we somehow find the willpower to play through this crap to get things done, no matter the cost. Well luckily for you people there's a way to glitch the end of the quest. This glitch worked the first time around and many thought Bungie would have patched it, but they haven't. And today people I'm going to run you through how to do this glitch and to make it even easier for you. Okay so when you get to the last part of this quest line, the stage should be called the Headstrong, where you have to earn points, complete in Iron Banner matches, win streaks are worth significantly more points. This step can be atrocious. I did some amount before figuring this glitch did exist. This glitch allows you to skip the entire process of this Headstrong step. So how does this work? Well people, when you are on at least a 2 win streak, even if you are already on a streak before getting to the Headstrong part of this Iron Banner quest, as long as that streak is in place you can skip the rest of this quest and it's done pretty simply. So on that streak, you can do this in multiple different ways. You can load into the tower as I do in this video or any planet for that matter. But once you start loading in, simply switch characters and log back into that same character. What this does is add progression onto the quest. Now the higher the streak you are on, the more progression you will get per each time you repeat this step. Keep doing it guys and you'll complete this quest step and the entire quest for that matter. Now this also works if you are on a Gambit Wing streak too for some odd reason. So if you don't want to play Iron Banner anymore, get yourself on at least a 2 win streak in Gambit and repeat the process of loading into a Gambit match and cancelling out when it starts matchmaking. When it comes up in the bottom right hand side of your screen, one of 8 players or so forth. Just cancel out then. This will also add progress onto the quest line. Doing this in either way I mentioned guys means you can skip the remainder of this quest and get that loot and it is as simple as that people. So yeah a short but sweet video reinforming you guys about this glitch and the fact it still works. Enjoy. On that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe. But guys I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.